Guess what, San Francisco? I got some bad news. Your city government is hella corrupt. Here's some of the shady business that's been going down in the past couple years. Supervisor Ed Ju is caught taking money from a bubble tea shop in exchange for influence. When he's caught, he's like, everyone's doing it, man. FBI informants catch local state Senator Li Lingyi trading campaign contributions for imaginary guns. An FBI agent wearing a wire is told that current board president London Breed is taking illegal money for clothes and makeup on untraceable debit cards. And most recently, FBI wiretaps caught the mayor's fundraisers taking illegal donations, saying, you gotta pay to play here. So why is San Francisco so corrupt? Well, it all goes back to a little thing called checks and balances. You might remember from elementary school, our federal and state governments have been divided into three parts, the judicial, executive, and legislative branches. Each branch has its own powers, and most importantly, keeps an eye on the other two to make sure nothing sketchy is going on. Well, in San Francisco, our separation of powers is an epic fail. We currently only have like one and a half branches of government. Here are some charts. The mayor is the executive branch. He's responsible for hiring and firing the heads of every department that does anything in the whole city. Water, transportation, the police. The board of supervisors is elected by the neighborhoods to represent 11 different parts of the city. They write the laws that the mayor and other departments have to follow, or at least are supposed to. Here's where it gets all messed up. Anytime a supervisor quits or leaves, which they do all the time, the mayor gets to appoint somebody loyal to him. Since the mayor was given this power, 23 separate supervisors have been appointed by the mayor. And of course, the mayor's appointed supervisors do whatever the mayor tells them to do. There's nobody left to call out the mayor and say, Hey, man, all this corruption's bullshit. Stop exchanging money for votes. So how do we fix this? Here's my three-part plan. One, whenever a supervisor quits, moves to another office, or goes to jail for corruption, we need to hold a special election. It's important that the people of San Francisco are electing their elected official, not the mayor. Two, we need to create a third check in our checks and balance system. Right now, we only have two, the executive branch and the legislative branch. Other major cities like New York, LA, and Seattle have a third elected official called the ombudsman or the public advocate. The public advocate is a badass whose job it is to investigate corruption on all levels and represent the people against the evil armies of bureaucracy. When local government is failing, citizens can call the public advocate to advocate on their behalf. Bill de Blasio was the public advocate of New York before being elected mayor. If other cities are addressing corruption with a public advocate, we should too. Third, and this is the most important, we need to start giving a shit. The people and media of San Francisco can't just accept this as business as usual. We need to get mad and we need to vote and we need to get these f***ers out of office. Corruption sucks. If you agree, please share this video and click on the link to donate to my campaign.